Hello everybody, so I'm gonna talk about the game of Undertale and especially Genocide because, well, really, there are some things which I've seen people do on Genocide while watching them play through the game. One thing I've seen people do is I've seen people go with the torn notebook and the cloudy glasses both against Sans and Dawndine. There's no point, really. I mean, against Dawndine, you should literally be going for the best options you have instead of the worst. <laughs> the cloudy glasses and the torn, no torn notebook against Dawndine... Fuck no, they don't work, honestly, I tell you all now, I'm being serious, they do not work for shit in that fight, I'd more or less tell you to stick with, um, old 2-2 and the, what is it, the, um, Fucking, what do you call it? The ballet shoes. I'd tell you to stick with them, honestly. Because if you don't, you've pretty much fucked the fight over. Unless you're someone who's like stupidly good at genocide. But still, if you're not good at genocide, and you've picked this torn notebook and cloudy glasses and you've sold the old tutu and the t and the uh, ballet shoes to Temmie, you've pretty much fucked the game over if you're like as bad as I am against Stundine and Sans. I mean, I'm more bad against Stundine now, really. But Sans, bro, I'm good against Sans, honestly. And then against Sans, any equipable item you've had against Undyne, defense-wise, against like the old tutu, the old tutu is more preferable than anything else. The uh, heart locket and the real knife don't do anything. I swear down, they don't do anything against Sans. I mean, the heart lock here is possibly just as strong as any other weak, equipable, defensive item in the game. So really, anything just as weak is fine. Like, don't pick up the heart lock here thinking it's the great, greatest option, because it's not. And for the weapon, I would definitely go in any part of the game against Sans. I would definitely 100% go for the um, burnt pan. Because obviously you can't get the apron. There'd be no reason to have or even keep the... Um, Empty broken gun. There'd be, there'd be no re reason to keep it. There'd be no reason to even have it in your inventory. The reason why I would choose the burnt pan against Sans is because it's, well, more of a massive reason than just a normal reason. It's because it can heal more, and since the noodles don't fully heal you normally if you don't have the burnt pan, if you do have the burnt pan however, the noodles are going to fully heal you just like the pie, no matter what HP you're at. I mean, I guess it's besides if you're like level 20. I think if you're level 20 then... It won't fully heal. But I mean, I don't think anyone's getting to level 20 against Sans. 
only if they kill him, really. But other than that, yeah, no. If you watch this video, you listen to my advice. You'll get far, bro. You will get far. Swear. Swear to you. You will get far. So I hope that this has helped. And I hope that you guys can appreciate me doing this video for you all. And I will hop on to Undertale. And I'm pretty sure I remember someone asking me yesterday, I think it was. Or last night or whatever. Asking me to do the Papyrus ending. So I'm going to get to doing the Papyrus ending in a bit. So yeah, I will see you all when I go on to Undertale. And yes, again, just like any other game of Undertale, I will be doing it live. And I've also been thinking, should I... Oh fuck. Mm -hmm. So should I... You know, like... Actually do a speedrun of Undertale? I mean... It sounds ridiculous. But I feel like I can do it, you know. I literally feel like I can do it. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below.